this beer and review it seriously. Yeah, I need the first one. I the, the, the first, first no. Where were you like <laughs> 10 minutes ago? Yeah. I think first beer. The stun trigger is already stimulated. It doesn't take much. Oh, you're not. Of course not. I'm, I'm naturally loud. You, you want to know how I was stimulated? Yeah. I had some of that oyster, uh, you know, dip. Yeah. <laughs> now, keep your aphrodisiac over there, please. Okay, so what, what beer do we have, Mr. Aphrodisiac? We have a really tiny local beer. Nano-sized beer. Nano, Brass Cannon Brewery out of Toano. Toano, I think. For those that are down by Williamsburg, Virginia. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got the Angry Snot, or, or Scott. Scott. <laughs> it's a wee wee heavy, and it's available year round. Um, yeah, probably down there it's available year round. Yeah, down there, yeah. So, um, I don't even know how, there, I think there's only like five or six stores that have this. I got this from the brewery. I had some on tap. The folks were really nice. I met the guy who owns the brewery, and it's about the size of the garage here. It's not much bigger. And this, from what I know, is the only beer that they sell retail in a bottle, unless you get a growler or something like that. Actually, you know what? When I was there, this guy came in and he had bought a growler there, and he wanted to return his growler and get money back for the growler because he thought it was like a bottle return or something. And he was all hacked off at the brewer because he said, no, I can't take that back because of health code. And he said, well, I won't buy your beer ever again. And he went out and was like, okay, craft beer newbie maybe. <laughs> Must be from Maine. <laughs> no, he was, he or was, Michigan. He was from some farm dude, I think, from around yeah, there. But the thing is, Virginia doesn't have a bottle return. No. I mean, in Maine and Michigan. I, I've never been to a brewery that ever takes growlers back, ever, because it's once you buy it, it's yours. yours. So I'm going to open this, and we already gave them the details. Almost we did. Oh, okay. uh, we got 7.8% ABV and 28 IBUs. It is a Irish ale yeast. And the adjuncts are oak staves and black treacle. Treacle's like molasses. Oh, I thought it was like fecal. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want, some fecal matter in my beer. Yeah. Yeah, it gives it a nice, you know, depending. It gives it an earthy taste. Exactly. It's like uh, uh, fuggles. <laughs> yes. I don't know what the hops are in here, but they, the treacle is, is a pretty aggressive tasting sort of molasses, and that it's basically another word for molasses. It's treacle the byproduct of sugar production, just like molasses, yeah. but it's a bit more it aggressive. Smells, so, it smells like molasses. Let's get an appearance on this. Or fecal. Nice red, deep red copper color, just like you expect a wee heavy when you swirl it. Tons of like alcohol copper. legs. I think you put a clean glass lazy, and the head didn't last very long on it, and didn't pour much either. Oh, well, he's got <laughs> some, I didn't get it. But you like it in the head, don't you? From beer, yes. <laughs> He's had too much oysters tonight. Anyways, <laughs> yes, decent looking beer. Does that beer entice you to drink it and say, drink me from the Yeah, beer? It's the yeah. pretty John Belushi looking dude yeah. on the front. Actually, it looks like a stoner, not an angry Scott. He looks like John Belushi. <laughs> yeah, from, um, what could we do the real Animal House. Yeah. That's animals. what it looks Let's get the aroma. Oh, it is metallic, isn't it? Yeah, that's why when you say copper, it was like, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it smells like a wet penny. <laughs> it didn't smell like this at the brewery. I get wet penny, sweet malt, some raisins, caramel, but a bit of toffee, and some of that molasses, and a little vanilla. But the penny aroma is dominant. I don't get any alcohol, but what do you get on it? At first, I, I, <clears throat> I smelled some milk. Mm -hmm. It's maybe the metallic metallic smell mm -hmm. man what kind of milk you you been drinking <laughs> what are they giving you in the I army don't know. i don't know this then they just serve you guys up in a pail here drink it <laughs> well it's not your typical smelling wee heavy i'm diving in this is the wee help heavy specialist here by the way too cheers sante gambe salut whatever you want it's a bit metallic tasting as well yeah um, it was not like that. It took tap. Do you taste the char again? I do. <laughs> I think they use peated malt in this. You know what? It's got to be the damn water down there in the Hampton Roads. Yeah, really in the Northern. Was it? Ricola. Like, oh, like a Ricola? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a Swiss we have you. <laughs> Man, the 
the metallic taste is dominating. Was it? Did you had this down there? Yeah, it didn't taste like this at all. I wouldn't have bought it if it tasted like this. Wow, very metallic. I mean, it's like metallic char. I mean, it, yes, you, it's like a burnt, a burnt penny, <laughs> a burnt <laughs> coin in your mouth. Mmm. Wow. And you know what? I do get that like herbal, like licorice from a yeah. ricola. Yeah, yeah, that's like licorice root or anise, whatever they put in there. Mm. Tastes like actually it tastes like anus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told you I'd get his aphrodisiac in the ass away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wow. All righty. Well, let's let's let's, let's rate, rate this. So our buddies over at Rate Beer, since it's 7.8, they would usually give it like uh, a low grade. Well, it hasn't been reviewed by them. Mm -hmm. And the dudes over at Beer Advocate, uh, yeah, it hasn't been reviewed by them either. So. We're first here in DJ's Brew Tube in the brewery, the craft brew world. So I am going to give this 70. I, I, they, they said enough metal, char, you know. Mm -hmm. ah, is we heavy? It's okay. It's not. It, it doesn't remind me of a we heavy too much. Sorry, I, I want to stop by your brewery too, or oh, garage. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting that X4 feeling. Are you getting a Woody? No. <laughs> I'm getting, <laughs> because I'm, I'm a little worried. I'm getting, I'm getting flaccidness. <laughs> There's no Woody here at all, man. No, lick an anus and all this. And... <laughs> Philippe? You didn't give it a grade. You just said you're. No, it doesn't. It's my turn. It's his turn. Come on, man. I just didn't think about it. I, I, th I thought you were going to put some corrective action on him last night. <laughs> Come on, man. Um, I don't really know because... I'll let you think. I'll read this. C, C plus. No, not even C plus. C. Like 73. And at the brewery, it did not taste like this. Or I would not have bought this bottle. It was cheap and all that, but I would not have bought this bottle. Hi. We got visitors. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Go ahead. <laughs> They're bringing in the, the the lady drinks. Oh, yes, yes. To store in the referee. So I'll go now. Uh, I do agree about the metal test, but behind, there is... It's not that bad. I wonder where that metallic... Behind? Like, <laughs> That's underneath the... the uh, said. Behind. It's underneath. funny that there is a metallic taste because... Anybody for I apple cider? <laughs> if I understand why, they don't use metal. No. <laughs> no, their fermenter was, was plastic. And not even metal. I don't, I don't know where the metallic taste is coming from. But, damn. It's just off, so off compared to what yeah. at the no. at the brewery man. It had like rich caramel. It had vanilla notes. I mean, it was a really solid beer from a small brewery. That's why I bought it. So I, I would be a little bit more generous. So a seventy-six. <laughs> See, it's going to be three points. Six. <laughs> seventy. No, seventy-six. Seventy-six. I don't know what did I get. Seventy-three or seventy-four. Seventy-three. Seventy-three. Yeah. yeah. So we're all I basically. <laughs> What's up with him in the anus tonight? I, I don't I don't think I would drink, you know, all the night. No. I, yeah. I'm really glad you guys are here with me to drink this because I, I don't I would struggle yeah. to finish twenty two ounces of this. Wow. But so we have to encourage. That's right. That's to support right. And, uh, yeah. the, the, the and maybe the, and, and like a, like we've had before. Sometimes Beer's better in a bottle, sometimes it's better off the tap. That's right. So, you know, we had a beer in a bottle that uh, the two of us liked. Mm -hmm. I have it off the tap, and it's a little less than what... I mean, it's a so really nice-looking beer. I mean, it looks great. It sits well in the glass and everything, but that metallic taste is just... I really... I, just, I, I'm I have, like, glued to my palate right now. Yeah, I think I'm going to cut myself and... <laughs> <laughs> if I want that blood... So we're all giving it like a C or below, C to, C to a C minus, basically grade wise. Um, and on tap, it's a better beer, guys. Don't get me wrong. On tap, 
trying to dig through my beer memory on tap, I would have given it like a B plus, I think, on tap. It, it was much a, It was that much difference. The metallic taste was not there at all. And there goes our conversation about consistency in the beer. Maybe yep. it, it, it's a little inconsistent between mm -hmm. breweries. Like I said, this is a tiny nano brewery. Hell, I think they bottled this while I was sitting there waiting. <laughs> I don't because the guy was back there for a few minutes while I was waiting. He gave me a couple samplers. And oh, stuff. that's why it's a wee wee heavy. Yeah, he probably pissed in the bottle. <laughs> He's an angry Scott. <laughs> <laughs> he was extra angry, pissing my fucking beer. So it's this, not it's not metal. It's your own taste. This said, here comes the important note about thinking globally and drinking locally and supporting like the craft beer movement here. Uh, wait, oh. Anyways, Johnny. Going out of the, out of the he, he's writing the phrase down already because he's upset. Excuse me. Now you got to keep this thing growing, so a nano brewery like this maybe can can get some more batch to batch consistency and make the beer taste more like it does on tap. That's right. So to the next EJ's Brew Tube, thanks a million to each and every one of you for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Obviously, Johnny's ready to move on to the next beer. Until then. We got nothing for you but a big pizza.